guys, welcome back to my channel. Mm. Where did she get those cookies from? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I asked you guys if you guys want me to do a labor and delivery story and you guys said yes, so here I am. Así que agarren sus cafés, lo que sea que tomen porque el chisme va a estar bueno. I mean, while I'm doing this, I'm going to be doing my hair because I have school in like three hours. And Foxy Babe just sent me this brush. Use Cora Wet for money off. Okay, today we're going to try it. A ver si sirve. Y si si sirve, pues chingón. Out, I was pregnant on July 25th. I was 19 years old. ¿Qué sentí cuando me di cuenta que estaba embarazada? Nervios. Voy a usar esto para el heat protector. I didn't know what to do. I was just so scared. It's a big thing. Like, no es como un juguetito, una muñequita. No, it's like. Esta madre se mueve. Not a lot of people knew I was pregnant. Because I didn't post anything until I was like seven months, I think. I remember what was the first picture I posted. I was nauseous al principio. Si me daban como mareos. Porque así me enteré que estaba embarazada. Pero ya después, no me dieron tantas náuseas. Ni antojos. She was honestly a really easy um, pregnancy. En ese tipo de que la niña no me dio vomitadera. I would throw up. It depends on what I would eat. If I would eat a banana, my young mother, like, she hated bananas. Now she loves them. Oh, and I used to crave um, pickles. Pickles a lot. I didn't start showing till I was, like, I think it was seven months. I really didn't even look pregnant, you guys. And I was just pure belly after, like, the last month. I was just pure belly. I didn't get stretch marks. Um, I used a lot of coconut oil. As soon as I found out I was pregnant, I started taking my prenatal. So when I was four months, almost to be five, the doctor told me she was going to be a boy, which I got really excited because I wanted a boy. Don't get me wrong, um, I did want it a girl, but I first, my first baby, I wanted to be a boy. And then my mom was like, no, no, it's a girl, it's a girl. Go check again. Y yo soy como, ¿qué ha pasado? Y segura que es un boy pichu, pero que ya me hiciste ya. Sofía, el hi, mom. I did the ultrasound there, like the gender reveal. Me acuerdo que ya me acostaron en la cama. And she was like, oh, you know the sex already? And I was like, yeah, yeah, it's it's a boy. So when I said it's a boy, she made this face. She was like... Y pues ya me dijo, no, mija, ¿quién dijo que iba a ser niño? Y le dije, yo, pues mi doctor. Y ya escribió en la pantalla de eso, girls. And I just wanted to cry. I my due date was April 27. Yeah. Entonces ya empezando abril, yo ya sentía como, you know, cramps here and there. Um, so on April 9, I think it was, I had like this kind of like um, spotting. So supposedly cuando eso te sale es porque ya yeah, you're close to it. But honestly, I was so glad because it's so tiring. Like the belly was so heavy. Y para mi cuerpo sí tenía como la panza media grande. Pasó eso, so I was like, yeah, I'm getting close. I'm getting super close. Thank God. April 10th en la madrugada, like 3 a.m., 2 a.m. And I was getting cramps. The cramps woke me up because it was hurting. But it was not like hurting. Like it was not a pain that I couldn't handle. So, I was like, okay, normal, you know, maybe. I on, I honestly thought que la Victoria nomás estaba así como, she was like bothering me with her elbow. But it would only happen like every hour. And so the next day morning, I remember it was 8 a.m. Mi mamá con mi mamá. So as soon as I hanged up, boom, like I felt a pain, a contraction. Woo! I started timing them. So empezaron de poquito a poquito. And I was in pain. I was like, oh, like it, it was hurting. It felt like it was worse than a cramp. That was worse than a cramp, but you, I could still handle it. So then um, Victoria's dad was like, you want me to take you to the doctor? And I was like, no, you're not going to the doctor until you see me on the floor. Like once you see me that I can't take it anymore, you take me to the doctor. I just wanted to like, 
as soon as I get to the hospital, I wanted to stay there. Ya llegó al punto en donde I couldn't handle it. I was okay. Take me to the doctor right now. Ya estaba yo agarrándome de la puerta because, oh, that's, that, that, it hurt. I was really not expecting that. <laughs> but every pregnancy is different. Every labor is different. Where I got, I got to the hospital. Entonces, cuando llegamos al doctor, yo le dije a la muchacha, la recepcionista, I was like, you know what? Like, I'm getting contractions. Like, where do I have to go? I was like, okay, okay, honey, let me look for a wheelchair. So, honestly, I think we waited there for 10 minutes. It's a big old hospital, and they just couldn't find a wheelchair. At the time, like, waiting there, getting contractions, just standing there, waiting for them to look for a wheelchair. I got a little bit mad. Oh, fuck that. I was really mad. I was just like, you know what? Forget about the wheelchair lady. Just tell me where do I have to go. And she was like, yeah, yeah, I'm so sorry, honey. Um, so you have to go a while, go to the left. Low key, estaba medio, medio lejillos. So ya para llegar a la, al lugar donde tenía que llegar, estaba el de seguridad afuera, no? Obviamente, they ask for your info. So then he's looking on his binder, and he goes, flipping pages. And I'm just standing there getting contractions, right? But I wasn't showing, like it was hurting because Honestly, I can take pain. I was just standing there. I mean, while he was looking for my name, which I was thinking, like, in my head, like, why are you looking for my name? I'm not going to be in the list. I didn't tell him that I was giving birth. He just asked, straight up when I got here, he just asked for my name. He was like, who are you coming to see again? I looked at him. I'm like, sorry, but I'm not here to see anyone. I'm actually about to give birth. He was like, oh my gosh, my bad. They didn't give you a wheelchair? Like, dude. I don't give a fuck about the wheelchair. Just open the goddamn door. Like, um, like I said, I wasn't showing any pain. And maybe the fact that I didn't do that fucked it up. Because I guess I was supposed to, like, look in pain in order for them to help me or something. So when I got there, I was like, oh, so I'm here because I'm going to give birth. And I told her, like, I'm getting contractions. Y me dice, okay, mija, si, toma, toma, llena estos papeles. Y tienes que irte allá al waiting room. The nurse will go and pick you up. I was just like, okay. I filled out the paper and then I gave it to her. Y la enfermera ya la avisó. I was like, it was hurting you guys. So ya me dice, oh no, um, ahorita ya la aviso. Entonces cuando me dijo eso, I was like, what part of like, I'm in pain, you don't understand. Like, I don't want to be sitting down. I want to be laying down. I'm getting contractions and they're hurting. And she looks at me and she goes, oh, you're having contractions right now? And I'm like, bitch. And apparently she didn't hear that. And so they like sent me to a room or whatever, like right away. They're like, okay, so I went by myself with Victoria's dad to the room. Five minutes later, the nurse gets there. And I was just like laying down in la cama. She was so rude. She gave me, you know, la bata que te dan en el doctor. Cámbiate. And I'm just like, pero si, like she was just like, here, put that on. Like I just give him the look, like I'm gonna fuck this bitch up. So since she gave me attitude, honestly, I gave her attitude back. Pues ya agarré la bata y me quité todo. I took everything off except the underwear. She's like, oh, you need to remove the underwear too. Que no sabes cómo nacen los bebés? So I looked at her and I'm like, no, no sé cómo nacen. Nunca he tenido uno. This is my first one. But like, I was just like mad already. I'm like, I, I had enough you, bitch. Y ya me lo quité. And then like, you know, they check how dilated you are. So I was on three. Tenía tres de dilatación. So when you're on 10, that's when you give birth. So she said, okay, so I'm gonna come back in an hour. And if you're not on four, then we're gonna have to send you back home. When's your first baby, you supposedly take a long time to open up. So when she left, I looked at Victoria's dad and I was like, I don't know, but I'm not going back home. So I stood up and I started doing squats. I, yeah, an hour passed. She came back and she was like, okay, you're on four. I was like, woo, we did it. What's in, bitch? So, I was just like, I had a lot of people. So, apparently, you can get your epidural when you're on five or four, I think. So, I remember I was asking for the epidural, and they're like, oh, see me, how CC. Okay. So, I was on five, I was on six, I was on seven, I was on eight, and like, I wasn't getting the epidural, and like, I was getting close to the 10. So, I was getting scared. I was like, where's the epidural? So, um, apparently, they forgot about me. And which. I was this close to not getting the epidural because I was already like really opened up. Cuando agarraba una contracción, I wouldn't notice it, pero yo paraba de respirar. So like twice, 
they had to the doctors had to like come in like a lot of like nurses had to come in and like kind of like turn me on my side and put like a big old ball between my legs because the baby wasn't breathing so they'll tell me like you need to breathe but it was just hurting so bad that i i wouldn't notice that i wasn't breathing and i had to take everyone out of the room because i was getting like so annoyed like it was like a party in my room i don't know who i told i was like oh, oh sabe que? Um, and we was laughing, talking, like I just had a headache. Like they respected my decision and they didn't take it in about in a like in a wrong way. So then after when they all left, I told the nurse, I where's the epidural? Like I need the epidural. And they're like, oh I'm so we're so sorry, honey. We forgot. Okay, just go get the doctor. Like I really need the epidural, like I'm in pain. So the nurse got there, whatever. He was like, Oh, I'm so sorry, they forgot about you. I was like, Yeah, yeah, stop talking. Ya póngame la pinche inyección porque ya no aguanto la chingada. Okay, so this is how the epidural looks like. He was telling me the steps. So the epidural feels like a pinch. To be honest, when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, I don't think I want it anymore. <laughs> se siente, se siente como caliente y sientes como un pinch. La verdad que ni duele. A lo mejor porque las contracciones te duelen tan feo que la epidural ya ni la sientes. So yeah, pasaron los, pasaron como 10 minutos y ya no sentía nada. And I was like, yes, Lord. I was so happy after that. I was like, okay, tell everyone to come in already. I was laughing with everyone and stuff. Then the doctor came in. So then he like checked again. And he was like, okay, you're not there yet, but you're almost there. I need everyone to get out, please. It's gonna be, only two people could be in the room. So I was like, oh, mi abuelita y el papá y la niña, no? And he was like, okay, this is just practice. You're not giving birth yet. I just need you to push. When I saw all the nurses coming in, when I started pushing, I would push with my with my neck. So when I'm telling you, I didn't feel anything from my hips down. I didn't feel anything. You need to push with your, like if you're, you know, going to the bathroom. Y yo así como que, es que no siento nada. Como que te puga si no siento. I said like, I just pushed three times. Boom, before I was out. Just like that. Y así como que ya, mira mi niña, me toca, me toca. Y después me la pusieron aquí. And it was like the best feeling ever, you guys. Like, you've been waiting for that day for nine oh, months. Okay. And as soon as like, they gave it to me, they, me la pegaron la chichi, you know, to breastfeed. La verdad, para mí, mmm, fue peor la recuperación que given birth, honestly. Like... Your body just feels loose. It was so swollen, like it would hurt. Like whenever I had to pee, it would hurt so bad. Like it was the worst. And then the next day, when you give birth the next day, you see all this blood coming like out of you. Que al baño siguiente día llené como una cubeta de sangre y me salieron coágulos de sangre, which that's bad. If that happens, they don't let you go. So I had to stay one more day because of that breastfeeding it was it hurt it hurt me um they took victoria away from me because she was born with jaundice and if you don't know what jaundice is it's when they're just technically born with yellow skin so they have to be under this blue light i have pictures and when they took it away from me i wasn't able to breastfeed so they'll tell me to pump my milk out so they gave me this um, electric pump. So I would go like three times a day to go and breastfeed her. They were giving her formula on a bottle. She wasn't lashing on me anymore. When I was at the hospital, I was just like, okay, whatever. So I was just pumping and they used to give her my milk on a bottle. We stayed in the hospital for about five days because of jaundice. And she actually stayed two more days in me. I think she stayed like six days on the, at the hospital. So I would go and visit her like twice a day. So like I said, in that time, they were giving her a um, bottle. So when I took her home, when I was able to take her home, she wouldn't latch on. I used to wake up like 20 minutes, 30 minutes before her to pump my milk out. So that way, whenever she would wake up, I would just give her the bottle. So I used to do that like five times a night, you know, newborns, they eat a lot. Ya como en dos semanas después de eso, si me usé una faja y todo, estaba yo como si nada, ya no me dolía ahí abajo, pues tienes que ir a que te revisen las, las stitches, you know, because they stitch you up. She was like six months, I'm gonna say. 
y ya le empecé a dar fórmula y ya me acabé mi café, así que ahora mi energy drink porque se ocupa energía con esta chamaca. That was my story of my labor and delivery. Teta. Teta, mi amor. Teta. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi, guys. Say, oh, oh, oh. Ya, mi amor. You guys, she's a faker. Ay, ¿qué pasó? ¿Qué te duele, mi amor? ¿Te duele? Ay, qué But yeah, she's like, honestly, the best thing that's ever happened in my life, you guys. Que mi amor, te lo vas, te lo vas. Baby shark, do, 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 do. Grandma, grandma. Grandma shark, do, 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 do. Grandma shark. Estoy planeando en hacer un video de A Day in a Mom's Life. So you guys can see what I do. ¿Qué les recomiendo estos? Este es el heat protectant, pero me diga, hay otro de estos que es como un... Um, Conditioner type thing, it's like a hair mask. Y te dejan el pelo bien suavecito, miren. Si no me creen, es lo que yo uso para el pelo y lo deja y lo tengo bien sano. And if you want to try this out, I'll leave the link on the bottom. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys on my next video.